this is your first time seeing me, you might be thinking, who the hell is this guy? And why do I care? What is he gonna tell me about science? I just finished my PhD, spent about five and a half years where we basically tried to make these little materials called nanoparticles. These things are really small. They're about a thousand times smaller than the thickness of a human hair. Once we had these nanoparticles made, we wanted to put some kind of drug or a medicine, such as chemotherapy, into that nanoparticle. The idea was to see if one, we could kill cancer cells better, or two, reduce the many side effects that usually come with chemotherapy. So now you might be wondering, well, why would you do this? Why would you even think that this would work? And that's a great question. I had the same things when I was starting out. There's an abundance of literature that says that if you have nanoparticles of a certain size, they can help circulate through your body really well, but those nanoparticles need to get smaller and smaller as they get closer to the cancer in order to actually enter and try and kill the cancer. In a lot of ways, this is just like how a spaceship works where it starts off like the big thing on the landing pad. And then as it takes off and gets to different parts of the atmosphere, it has to shed its layers in order to adequately get to the distance that it needs to get to, which is space. In this case, the space is just the cancer and the ship is just the nanoparticle, same, same. So even though we focused a lot on the different material properties, the sizes and the shape. We also did a lot of work to see if these things could actually work. That includes a lot of biological testing. So if you think this sounds cool and you want to learn a little bit more about both what I did and what other people in the field are doing, please be sure to give me a follow.